it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this USB conference microphone made by Mayono. Now this is a USB microphone that you can find on Amazon, links will be in the description below. And this is a $37 microphone, so pretty decently cheap for what seems to be a very good microphone. So uh, let's go ahead and begin with showing you around the box. So. Here it is, you can see Mayono, their brand right here. Nice little picture of what the microphone looks like. Here's the model number, I believe that is. Then you can see application range, uh, basically what it'll work in, stuff like that, Skype, WhatsApp, YouTube, web chat, etc. On the side, LED indicator light, 3.5 millimeter audio jack output, full metal case, and it also works with Windows and Mac. On this side, omnidirectional, long distance voice pickup, USB 2.0 plug and play, and touch key for mute. So basically you just press, uh, well, if I get the camera to focus right here, this little logo on the microphone, if you just touch that, it either mutes it or it makes it uh, pick up your voice. So that's very cool. On the top, not much. On the bottom, nothing. And then on the back, specifications and the label. There's the label there and all of these specifications. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I believe you, yeah, pull out, pull this out. Here's this, and then here's the little box. And okay, right there. Pretty nice so far, wow, this is, that's actually full on aluminum or metal of some sort, that is, this feels very, very good so far. I'm very impressed. And let's go ahead and pull the cord out of here. Get it out of there. Pretty long cord too. There you go. You see it does connect through USB. Let's set that off to the side. We also have some silica gel, silica gel. But that doesn't have anything to do with this folks the camera and then we also have a manual there it is see there more specifications and what it comes with all right so I guess what I'll go ahead and do now is uh, plug this into my Mac and go ahead and see how it works all right so as you can tell this microphone is hooked up to my Mac right here and I just took a uh, voice recording on the Voice Memos app, which I'll go ahead and play in just a minute. But I wanted to show you guys, you can see this little M icon right here, okay? When that's lit up green, that means that it it's basically ready to record. Now, if we go ahead and tap that, you don't even need to press it. If you just tap it, it turns red. This means now if you go ahead and like try to record something, it's not gonna pick up your voice. So that's very cool. You can go ahead and turn off whenever you want uh, it to be recording. Now you can see if we press it again, or tap it, it uh, turns green and now it's ready to uh, record. Let's go ahead and stop that though, and we'll go ahead and give a listen on this recording. I'll go ahead and play that now. All right, so this is what the microphone sounds like. I'm probably about, I don't know, a foot away right now talking at a normal level and this is what it sounds like now in this case uh as you can tell from the video i'm about to shoot I'm not shooting it right now while i'm taking this uh recording but it is hooked up to my mac and i am playing this slash recording it through the voice memos app anyways this is what it sounds like hopefully it sounds pretty well and then if i go ahead which i'm not going to do right now during the recording but if i click the little m icon that is currently green that will turn red and it will stop picking up your voice. So that is very cool. Let's go in and stop this and see how it sounds. All right, so there you go. That's the, the uh, recording that I took off camera uh, just a few minutes ago. And if you couldn't tell, it does sound pretty decent. Now, recently I did a review on, I believe it was a 140 or so dollar microphone. That was a complete setup. And of course, that's a professional setup and it did sound better than this. But keep in mind, this is only $37. You're not going to probably be wanting to use this if you're like doing this, like recording stuff as a career. Like, for example, YouTube videos, like, yeah, this will work. But if you're, you know, if you have millions and millions of subscribers, 
and you're doing YouTube as like a full career, um, eh, I mean, it'll definitely work for what you're doing, but it doesn't sound as good as a professional setup. Again, it is cheaper though. Um, but if you're wanting to do like a podcast or something, um, maybe even YouTube videos for like my amount of subscribers, almost 40,000, this will work perfectly fine. And again, it's cheap enough that really anyone can afford it. So um, again, sound quality, it's pretty decent. It's not the worst I've heard, uh, not the best I've heard either. So not bad for the price though, in my opinion. Um, I guess that's really it. Again, it did sound pretty good. So I guess what I'll go ahead and do now is give you guys my final opinion. Just a quick little thing before I go ahead and give you guys my final opinions on this microphone. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the front uh, aux or headphone jack port right here. You can see right above where my thumb is. That's a basically a um, external port for uh, headphones and stuff. I'm pretty sure the way that that works is that you plug, for example, headphones or if you really wanted to, for some reason, a um, external like speaker or something, I'm 99% sure you just simply plug it into here and then it will give the output through here instead of, for example, your built-in speakers on a laptop. Um, you can see here, that's the audio output section. Sorry about that, I bumped the camera. Right there, that's how it works. You plug in, okay, yeah, see it shows headphones or a speaker into that uh, one, one eighth inch TRS jack. So there you go. And if you want to just look at the instructions real quick to clear up any confusion you may have, there you go. All right, so there you go. I guess what I'll go ahead and do now is give you guys my final opinions. So overall, what do I think of this microphone? I think this thing is pretty good for $37. Um, one of the main things for me about it, what makes it worth it, is the build quality. Again, this thing, it's it feels literally like it's a $200 microphone. It feels so premium and high end. It's very impressive. You can see here, it's metal. It's, it's very nice. It has a good weight to it. I'm very impressed by the build quality. It's it's very, very nice. The grill here covering up the actual microphone itself. It is metal. The entire structure is metal. Very, very impressive. And then for the cord, uh, the cord does actually feel pretty good. I um, want to say it's like has a silicone, I guess you could say housing. I don't believe it does though, but that's what I want to say it is. Um, but again, it doesn't feel like a normal cord. It feels much higher quality and I'm not going to unravel this, but it is a pretty decently long, uh, cord. So cord size, very good. And also build quality is very, very nice. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good microphone for a cheap price, go ahead and pick one of these up. Um, so yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.